What's up guys, this is GTFan712 back with another installment of news, in which I recap the sneaker news that mattered to me this week and look forward to this weekend's releases. Kicking off this week, Fragment Design's Hiroshi Fujiwara visited 21 Mercer in New York City this week to debut two additional colorways of the Fragment Air Trainer 1. Releasing both in-store and online, black and red tonal leather colorways are still readily available, with links to purchase in the description. Sticking with Nike Lab, the Pigalle LeBron 12 Elite collaboration was released this Thursday. Although the accompanying five-panel hat and basketball have sold out, the shoe is still available in most sizes online at a questionably high retail price of $300. New Balance released their next installment in their most premium bespoke tier this week, featuring two US-made 1400s, a US-made 990, and a US-made 996, all composed of Horween leather. These top-quality New Balances are available in limited numbers now on NewBalance.com for just over $300. This season's colorways of the Raph Simmons Adidas Oswego 2 were released at several retailers this week, including multiple retailers in Europe that offer them for significantly discounted prices. Although the retail price is set at $520, select retailers offer the off-white and all-red Oswegos for as low as $260. They are quick to sell out at these prices, so be sure to follow me on Twitter for up-to-the-minute release updates. The Air Jordan 6 Retro Golf released this week, featuring a Jordan 6 low upper atop a Jordan modified Golf midsole and outsole. Released in white, infrared, and black and white colorways, this modified Jordan 6 surprisingly sold out even at a retail price of $225. Adidas is currently offering $20 off orders of $99 or more with the code TAKE20. Select products are excluded and the deal expires on September 7th, and I've listed the best deals in the description below. Nike Store is also having a sale for this Labor Day weekend with 25% off clearance items with the discount code PUMPED. Like the Adidas promotion, I've created a list of the best deals in the description. After the success of Hender Scheme's raw leather take on the Air Jordan 4, the Japanese brand now tackles the Jordan 6. Seen here in Hender Scheme's now iconic vegetable tanned leather colorway, this new silhouette should be popping up at Hender Scheme retailers in the near future. The biggest story of this week comes from Sunday's MTV Video Music Awards. Not only did Adidas own the show with Macklemore, The Weeknd, Justin Bieber, Pharrell, and ASAP Rocky all wearing Adidas models, but Kanye debuted yet another colorway of the Yeezy Boost 350. This tonal off-white or beige colorway is a slight variation of the all-white 350 previewed last week, although neither have been confirmed as actual production releases. Ronnie Feig previewed his next release with Puma, which is a collaboration with High Snobiety to celebrate the website's 10th anniversary. Modified variations of the Puma Blaze of Glory and R698 will be released, featuring black and red colorways accented with quilted leather. A firm release date has not been announced, but stay tuned for future developments and a full reveal. After three extremely successful Blaze of Glory collaborations, Sneaker Freaker is back with another colorway. This time partnered with Packer Shoes, the Bloodbath Blaze of Glory brings a burgundy upper to the already familiar color blocking. This new Puma collaboration retails at $170 and releases throughout this weekend at the Bloodbath pop-up shop in New York City, but an online release has not been confirmed. The US-made Premier New Balance 998 collaboration will see a wide release this weekend, hitting top-tier New Balance accounts worldwide on Saturday, September 5th. Inspired by early 20th century automobiles, this 998 retails at $220, and a full list of participating retailers can be found in the description below. Lastly, the Multicolor 2.0 Flyknit Racer finally has an official release date. On Friday, September 11th, that's next Friday, the Rainbow Flyknit Racer will release on NikeStore.com at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. I'll be following this release closely and posting any release updates and direct links to purchase on my Twitter. And that will wrap up this installment of news. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts on this week's news and releases. And until next time, this has been GTFan712. Thanks for watching. What the hell is this? Kanye 2020 Customs. Dude even put his phone number on the bottom.